tie-dye shirt with turtles. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Pup. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Pup. This time it's at a place called Where Heads Meet not the kind of place I had thought of actually going to. It wasn't on my f first pass of Ottawa Street to enter. But then I found out they have some other really interesting things. They have uh, rep rep retro signs. They've got used recording recordings of on CDs and on LPs and cassettes. And uh, I was really pleasantly surprised with what else I found. And you'll see that in a moment. These were the items that were outside. They were just going into the store now. <clears throat> and what we're actually looking for is the far at the back end of the store. The front end is filled with paraphernalia for consuming cannabis and maybe some other stuff that I don't know about. Here's some of the LPs as it is to start off with. It's uh, not a small collection, folks. Uh, I'd say it's probably well worth the trip. And onwards we go. We just didn't know what to expect when we came. Totally, totally floored on what we did, did find here. And I'm sure you will be if you're into LPs. Uh, they claim to have some 50,000 of them, which is a substantial collection. And they're all mounted in this back room on these shelves. And they're, they appear to be really nicely organized alphabetically and by topic. So it's not just a one-way thing, it's a multiple way. These, uh, there's a section that's uh, country music, a lot of it is rock. There's some older stuff. And yes, they even have some, some of the equipment to, uh, I think it's for purchase as well. If you need a piece of equipment to uh, listen to this stuff. They've even got some of those. Uh, I mean, these these are stacked up very neatly, vertically. They tend to be better being kept like uh, in tight bunches. It's far better for the LP. So there's some still shots. That one says it's got country in that particular portion. And the rest, I guess, is not. And there are some 45s as well. Although it's primarily is LPs. But there's even the ones up, up closer to the front of the store as well. There is a lot. So if you're into LPs or just uh, album art, this is a place to come and visit. You may find that treasure you, you've been looking for. They also have posters. And here we see a couple of them. I think they're generically framed. But this was what surprised the heck out of me finding a really nice collection of Hawaiian shirts and at least some of them were made in Hawaii. The prices were pretty good. They had tie-dye shirts. I featured one of those on the opening splash. 
as you can see it here. And a couple of sizes of that particular pattern. And here's another one, different design. Again, it's a t-shirt, but it's got some really nice design to it. And yet another one. Depending on what base colors you're looking for. And then we get into the Hawaiian shirts. I have a feeling that they, ha they have somebody else who is uh, actually uh, their supplier for these somewhere else in town that I'm going to now have to investigate. Leaving that area, I'm taking the other side of the store. There's uh, books and brochures. Uh, Here's some more CDs, as you can see, some gift cards. It is legal in Canada to uh, partake, so... Uh, this is a way to deal with it, folks. There's no point hiding it anymore. I don't think they were ever hiding it, because they selling the glass objects that they some like to use is has not been illegal it's just what they used to put into it may have been and of course they have to have these these buttons and bumper stickers and things of that nature some of it's in good humor They've got some more of a touristy kind of thing for some of it. Well, that's it for this tour. I hope you enjoyed it. You'll give us a subscribe and maybe a like. And possibly even a tinkle on the bell. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.